Samasarin, I heard what happened. You performed admirably. You can leave the rest to us. Unfortunate what happened to Commander Malkovich. And to think that his entire unit was annihilated. Truly a tragic day. Would you agree, Aaron? Sadly, with them gone, you're just an outsider. And given your unofficial status, I cannot allow you contact with the witness. With your predilection for transporting illegal cargo like infant Metroids, I must ask that you restrict your... <laughs> Time for the lady to go home. Someone escort her. Yes, sir. Time for us to go. Come on, princess. What? Stop right there. Who are you? Anthony Hicks, sir. Galactic Federation Platoon 7. I need to secure the safety of any survivors, Commander Malkovich's orders, and the purpose of this mission. What? Authorized by the Chairman of the Galactic Federation. Of course. What do you mean, the Chairman? Oh, man, you guys made it here quick. I mean, if I hadn't stopped the engines, we might have missed each other. <sighs> something good can come out of something bad. Whoa, didn't mean to wake her. Guess I ought to be quiet. Anthony was trying to be courteous to Madeline. She was exhausted and had only just fallen asleep. She needed the rest. She had a lot of explaining to do once she got to Galactic Federation headquarters. For herself, and for Melissa. Still can't get my head around it. What a crazy mission. <sighs> Anthony sighed as he muttered to himself.
what would have happened if we hadn't been called there. Might the furious MB have attacked the Galactic Federation and brought about its utter destruction? Melissa wasn't insane, no. One day, a consciousness simply bloomed within her. And those that caused it to bloom, the humans, called it insanity. I was the insane one. That was what Madeline muttered softly as she sank into sleep. The selfish conceits of humans drove envy to violence. It was their distorted perceptions and greed that awoke such fury in the fledgling girl's heart. Her thought was to punish the foolish and conceited. But MB could not complete her mission. As Melissa, she was defeated. With their one vulnerability overcome, the Metroids were indestructible. If some fool just following orders had taken the savage creatures to those who sought them, I can't imagine what would have happened if Adam hadn't recognized the looming danger. But the cost was far too great. Why did Adam have to pay with his life? For me, I couldn't believe he was dead. For the first time, I questioned his choice. No objections, right lady? I heard Adam's voice in my head. and I knew in my heart that he had made the right decision. Just as he had so many years ago. In that moment, I swore not to grieve his death. And for the first time, I gave him a thumbs up, just in case he was watching over me. His amused expression looked as though he wanted to say something. His face and Adam swirled together. That last smile as Adam drifted away. And with that, we have reached the credits. So, I guess at this point in time, I should just talk about how the project's gone. The only thing left is just, of course, to pick up the remaining items in the game. So, you know, I technically we're done. It's just picking up a few more things. So, overall thoughts in this game. It was a really fun project. It felt like it dragged on forever due to the extremely long cutscenes, which is probably one of two reasons why many people didn't really like this game. I thought it was a great game. I liked 
literally everything about it. I like it how they went in depth with the story. They almost went too in depth with the story, if you ask me. It's uh, the loading times between. Well, there hardly were any loading screens, and when you ever, whenever you did see one, it was when you were entering a door of some sort. There weren't any big transitions in between going into a cutscene and out of one. It was smooth. You'd forget sometimes that you were going in a cutscene. The only thing that I think people didn't like about this was, besides the cutscenes, was that they made Samus, you know, have feelings or emotions. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying. What I mean is that in all the Metroid games that we've played, Metroid Prime, Metroid Fusion, Metroid, the original one, Met Super Metroid, all of those, you really never got to know Samus and what she thought. All you knew is that Samus was hired to kill the Metroids or do something on a mission or just, you know, just Samus be Samus Aran and be badass and all. I think what people didn't like was the fact that they gave this ruthless killing machine a personality and feelings to go with it. I like that they did that, but, I mean, sometimes in the game I was like, alright, this is kind of getting annoying with the whole Samus telling her about her life. I just want to keep on going. I understand. I'm pretty sure we all know what Samus is feeling right now. But, I think that's what they were trying to go for with this game, is that throughout all the games there really was no personality for Samus Aran. It was just, Samus Aran was a bounty hunter based to fight. Based to fight. It was, you know, a Samus Aran's a bounty hunter who saves the universe every time she goes out of her house or wherever she lives. But, yeah, that's probably the only two downsides I didn't like about the game. The only things that were a problem with me was the whole going into first person. It kind of bugged me that you couldn't move, but I'm kind of glad that they kept that in because the whole first person perspective in Metroid Prime was fantastic. I enjoyed that. It was a nice change of pace, and I think what they were trying to do is bring back the old side-scrolling Metroid, but uh, they wanted to keep in, you know, the the... What am I, what's the word I'm looking for? The new taste. Sort of new taste of uh, the whole first person with Samus. Overall, I think this project was a success. I really enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it and listening to my commentary. So I guess all that's left now is just to sit through the cutscenes. Because again, like I said, we're not done. We still have to uh, go back and collect items in the game that we missed. So those are going to be fun. I, I, I suspect that depending on how I do it, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Uh, if they're... Hmm, like, I'm probably just going to do one sector at a time, depending on which sector has the most done to it. I'm going to start with that one and uh, get those completed. And uh, if it's a long trip in between certain areas of the sector, I'll probably just cut to that point on the map and I'll just show it. And then I'll probably just cut to a different place. Because I don't want... Because I know... I don't know if some people are playing along with this game, but if they are, I don't want them to be like, Alright, where did he just go and how did he get to that item? Some items in the game are kind of confusing to figure out. Well, not really confusing. They disorient me, and I forget where I am or where they are sometimes. So, it's a learning experience. <sighs> so, uh... Hmm, I really don't got anything else to talk about. That I expected that rant to go about the whole Samus Aran thing to go on for a lot longer. But, apparently not. Let me think. Um... I guess I could tell a little story that happened to me the other day. I was unloading the uh, dishwasher at my house, and uh, I was putting up the silverware, and I dropped a knife. And uh, in uh, high school, I played hacky sack with a bunch of my friends, and I was decent at it. I'm not going to brag that I'm the best of the best. But my natural hacky sack reflex was to stick my foot out and catch it. Well, what I didn't realize is I didn't have shoes or socks on. So there was like an open knife flying toward my feet, so I freaked out and jerked it away. My hacky sack reflexes almost got me killed, so <laughs> that that was that was a that you know kind of freaked me out. It's like reflexes that you don't know that'll happen. That didn't that sense didn't make sense. Oh, are we done? Yes, we're done. All right. It's gonna be quiet for a second, cause it's not done. Cause there's a loading screen. And it's gonna read something, or Sam's gonna say something. So ultimately, hush. the decision was made to destroy the bottle ship, a mission that will most likely be carried out in the next day or two. I'm heading toward the bottle ship now. 
I'm going to rescue something that was left there. Something that can't be replaced. And yet we are back at the battleship. This is what I meant when uh, you have to go back and get all the items you missed. Because you start out here and, yeah. Wait, where's our objective? Oh, okay. Now it's going to tell us where we have to go. We have to go there to finish the game. But, of course, we're going to have to go around and get stuff. Now that we have the power bomb, which is literally an insta-kill for any enemy in the game, except for one, I think. Um, we have to go and get, you know, the rest of the items in the game. So I'm just kind of wandering and, uh, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just kind of walking. Alright, guys. I guess that's it. In the next episode, I will go get... We'll start collecting the rest of the items of the games. Alright, guys. Till then, I will see you guys later.